Jesus. Our Father and our God, we thank you this morning. We come before your throne of grace, O oh God, inviting your presence, O oh God, even as we, we pray and read your word, O oh God. We welcome you, O oh God, that you will come and minister to us, O oh God, and dwell in our hearts. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, online viewers, and uh, we want to welcome you this Wednesday morning. It is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. This week we are going to be looking at our awareness um, of God's forgiveness. And the title or topic for today is our ineffective righteousness. And I'm going to read for us from the book of James chapter 2 verse 10 to 11, which says, For whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point, he says, guilty of breaking it, all of it. For he who said, you shall not commit adultery, also said, you shall not commit murder. If you do not commit adultery, but do commit murder, you have become a lawbreaker. Now the Bible tells us that our unrighteousness, or rather our righteousness, is as filthy rags. And that's uh, the scripture that is found in um, Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. And we all know that we cannot attain God's righteousness. So we are very ineffective when it comes to righteousness before the presence of God. And this morning, we just want to present ourselves before the Lord and ask him to have mercy on us because we cannot do without his forgiveness. We cannot do without his love. And uh, I'll just ask you to join us together even as we pray this prayer because he's a loving God, he's a forgiving God. Our Father and God, we thank you because you are a good God. Thank you, Lord Jehovah, because your word also tells us, oh God, that Jehovah, we cannot hold one thing to be righteous and another because your law is one, oh God. And Lord, we are supposed to keep your law. And Father, this morning, oh God, we come before your throne of grace, oh God, asking you, oh God, that you will have mercy on us, oh God. Father, I pray that Jehovah, we shall um, remember, oh God, even what the Pharisee, the Pharisee kept saying, oh God, in um, 
in Luke chapter 18, verse 9 to 14, oh God, that he was better than any other person. Why? Because he fasts twice in a week. He's able to do greater things than any other person. But Lord, we know very well that we cannot achieve your righteousness, oh God. So we come before your presence this morning asking you to have mercy on us, oh God. Sub admitting that, Jehovah, we can only find forgiveness in your presence. We can only find love in your presence, oh God. This morning, oh God, may you teach us, oh God, to admit, oh God, that we are not able and we depend on you, oh God, that we are weak vessels, oh God. But help us, oh God, to keep your commands, oh God. Help us, oh God, to come before your throne of grace, oh God, to seek your mercy because you are a God of mercy, you are a God of uh, grace, you are a God of love, oh God. Father, I pray that above everything else, oh God, we shall bind love, oh God, on our hearts, in our hearts, oh God. That Jehovah, everything that we do shall be from a point of love, almighty God. Father, I pray that Jehovah, may you also continue to just um, uh, teach Teach us, O oh God, your ways, O oh God, that we may not go against your will. We may not go, go against your, your purposes, O oh God, concerning our lives, O oh God. Father, also teach us, O oh God, not to be so constrained or, or, or determined to follow every one rule. Yet, Lord, all you command us to do is to love one another, O oh God. And through that love, O oh God, we are able to keep your commands, O oh God. So, Lord, this morning, O oh God, we come before your throne of grace, O oh God, asking you, O oh God, Jehovah, teach us, O oh God, to walk in righteousness. Teach us, O oh God, to be, to be people who are seeking for forgiveness every single moment, oh God, because Lord, we sin with our hearts, we sin with, we sin with our mouth, we sin with even our ears, oh God. What we hear, oh God, what we allow to come inside our hearts, oh God. Father, we are still sinners, oh God. So this morning we admit, oh God, that we cannot do it without you. May you cover us, oh God. May you empower us to walk in righteousness and to walk in truth, oh God, because you are love and you are truth. We bless your name, oh God. Even as we go in this week, oh God, Father, I pray that Jehovah, may your grace abound in us, oh God. May your loving kindness, oh God, be a shield unto us, oh God. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name, oh God, because you are a good God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray and believe. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us this morning for this uh, short, um, just um, moment to spend before the presence of God and we continue to pray that you may continue to be ministered even as we lift up the name of Jesus. Have yourselves a beautiful rest of the week. In Jesus' name, amen. Asante, asante, buona, asante.
Sacrée.